So we went, 28 guys, to the 78th Fighter Squadron. And 27 of those guys roomed with other fighter pilots. And I was a Jewish guy, and they knew that. And I roomed with Marvin Kern and Phil Yanofsky, two Jewish guys who were the intelligence division of the 78th Fighter Squadron. I was separated because of my religion. I was not accepted as a fighter pilot until I flew. And like the Tuskegee Airmen, the black guys who had to be three times as good just to be even, I had to be three times as good. There was a guy by the name of Jim Tapp in Hawaii who was a captain when I met him as a second lieutenant. And I flew on his wing. One day he called me to his flight line, P-40. He said, get on my wing and don't get off. Because if you get off my wing, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. He pulled streamers, which meant that he was using G-forces so that the air, the humid air, was streaming off the wingtips. And my airplane in formation was about to stall. And I stayed on his wing. We did everything you could do in an airplane over a destroyer. And then we landed. And he said, do you know where you were? I said, yes, sir. I was on your wing. And he started to laugh. He said, we just did an air show for President Roosevelt.